Friends, we're gathered here in the presence of God to join Jonathan William Pearson and Leah Ann Griffin in holy marriage, which is instituted by God, regulated by divine commandments, blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ, and to be held in honor among all people. And yet, in truth, we cannot create a marriage in this service. What we can do is to recognize, celebrate, and endorse the marriage that Leah and Jonathan create with God's help. Those who enter this relationship are to cherish a mutual esteem and love, to bear each other's infirmities and weaknesses, to comfort each other in sickness, trouble, and sorrow, in honesty and sincerity, to provide for each other in material things, to encourage each other in things which pertain to the spirit, and to live together as heirs of the grace of life. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. It must be created. In order to create happiness and a good marriage, the so-called little things should always be given importance. For in creating a successful marriage, these little things often turn out to be the big ones, such as never being too old to hold hands, remembering to say, I love you, never going to sleep angry, forming a circle of love that gathers around the whole family, at no time taking each other for granted, doing things for each other not out of a sense of sacrifice, but rather in a spirit of joy, not expecting perfection from each other, but rather cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. Having the capacity to forgive and the grace to make your forgiveness stick. It's not only marrying the right partner, it's being the right partner. Leah, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage, Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live for you? Jonathan, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live for you? I love you, and I choose you above all others. Be my wife. Let's be my wife. To share with me all that our lives may bring. To share with me all that our lives may bring. To be most patient and tolerant with one another. Be most patient. Be the most patient and tolerant above all others. Treasure our moments of joy and laughter, one by one, one by one. To weather life's storms, hand in hand. To weather life's storms, hand in hand. To comfort you whenever you need comfort. Comfort you whenever you need comfort. To respect all that you are. To respect all that you are. To help you become all that you want to be. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's so okay. To help you become all that you want to be, all that you want to be. Knowing that as you grow, knowing that as you grow, we will grow together. We will grow together. Above all, and above all, I will be your friend.
the most patient from all of the The most patient from all of the Treasure our moments of joy and love. Join me in prayer. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation and giver of all grace, look with favor upon the world you have made and for which your son gave his life, and especially upon Leah and Jonathan, whom you make one flesh in holy matrimony. Give them wisdom and devotion in the ordering of their life, that each may be to the other a strength in need, a counselor in perplexity, a comfort in sorrow, and a companion in joy. Give them grace when they hurt each other, to recognize and acknowledge their fault, and to seek each other's forgiveness and yours. Grant that their wills may be so knit together in your will, and their spirits in your spirit, that they may grow in love and peace with you and one another all the days of their life. Give them such fulfillment of their mutual affection that they may reach out in love and concern for others. Make their life together a sign of Christ's love in this sinful and broken world. That unity may overcome estrangement, forgiveness yield guilt, and joy conquer despair. By the power of your Holy Spirit, pour out the abundance of your blessing upon Jonathan and Leah. Defend them from every enemy Lead them into all peace. Let their love for each other be a seal upon their hearts, a mantle upon their shoulders, and a crown upon their foreheads. Bless them in their work and in their companionship, in their sleeping and in their waking, in their joys and in their sorrows, in their life and in their death. And finally, in your mercy, bring them to that table where your saints feast forever and ever. Through Christ our Lord, who is with you and the Holy Spirit, lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Now may God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit bless, preserve, and keep you. May the Lord look upon you with merciful favor and fill you with all spiritual benediction and grace that you may faithfully live together in this life and in the age to come have life everlasting. Amen. I invite you to share a kiss as husband and wife.